Fight night approaching quickly. UFC 245 from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas coming to your way on Saturday night and a star-studded card it is. Your main card, Kamaru Usman taking on Colby Covington in the main event, the co-main, Max Holloway taking on Alexander Volkanovsky and then Amanda Nunes, the greatest female fighter in the history of the sport. A big-time favorite in that women's bantamweight title. Some other big names, Jose Aldo and Uriah Faber, rounding out the card. Let's head out now to Las Vegas for live looks at Wiggins.
I feel like if you let it, things go natural. Everything's gonna be fine. 
you are looking perhaps the greatest women's mixed martial arts fighter many of us have ever seen. She murks women. She puts knuckles to people's faces, and you see the look in their eye like they've never been hit like that before. Big combination. Rod is in trouble. Boom! And it's all over! Just like that! I'm the best female fighter ever. I've been proven, and I will keep it doing over and over. Oh! Huge head kick for Nunez! Home is out! Amanda Nunez still queen of the jungle! Yeah. I think life from being the UFC champion, what's supposed to be the best feeling in the world, ended up being the worst from the moment they put the belt around my waist, from the moment they took it. A lot of things happened, but at the same time, I'm so grateful that they happened. I faced myself, I faced so many obstacles in that time that made me so much stronger, so much wiser, and so much better. The only thing I can say about it right now is uh, history. I moved on. She is Jermaine Durantamy, the Iron Lady. She has been saying to anybody who would listen, I have weathered the storm, I have been through the storm, and now I am the storm. Oh! Oh! Just like that! Jermaine Durantamy! That is it! One shot puts her down and the referee saw enough! It's gonna be a war. Amanda will face the best Jermaine Durantamy. It's all or nothing for the Iron Lady. That's it. She fight the beginning, man. Now she's gonna fight the champion champ. That is gonna be another level kind of fight. I'm here to make statement, make history, keep putting my name in the top of the mountain. And I will prove it once again. Oh! Amanda Nunes! Oh! Amanda Nunes! Oh! 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 Chris Cyborg out cold! Oh! Amanda Nunes has turned the mixed martial arts world on in Texas tonight! No. I'm in control. Nobody can stop me. I wrote history already so many times, so. I will do everything within my power to do it again. Bam! She's getting hurt. That uppercut hurt her. It is all over! She's so wrong. Nobody's gonna take this belt for me. She's dangerous. She's very good opponent. But I'm here for a reason. I told you! I'm the great! I'm a lioness, and I'm gonna go away with my belt. This is for the Bantamweight Championship of the World, ladies and gentlemen. what this rematch means to you and with this opportunity to fight once again for a title. I'm very blessed to be here. I mean, I get to face the very best and I get to face Amanda Nunes, the very best. So we're gonna make one hell of a fight and I hope you guys are gonna enjoy the fight. Thank you so much. Good luck to you tomorrow. Jermaine Durandamy, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with the GOAT, ladies and gentlemen. Amanda, you are widely recognized as the greatest women's mixed martial arts fighter of all time. You have an opportunity to defend one of your two titles tomorrow night. Give us your thoughts on this rematch with Jermaine Demandamy. See you guys all tomorrow. Andy Steele, baby! Andy Steele! The champ, ladies and gentlemen, Amanda Nunes! Three titles, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at the two men involved in the featherweight championship of the world. 
quite like a UFC championship main event. Oh, beautiful body kick late from Holloway. Max's last fight was an interesting one. Frankie Edgar and Max Holloway go the distance. Frankie approached a little bit wrong, to be honest. He just doesn't have that power that, that really could have helped him in that fight. For me, I do have that power. and I've evolved with it. And then I've got the power and the strength to back it up, so I'm the man to do this. I really am. I'm gonna keep doing what I do best. Win fights, we're gonna grab my belt, and on to the next. I wanna be the GOAT. Big shots. It's easy to become champ. It's harder to stay. Burt Watson, he's always tell us, it's easy to get in the UFC, but it's hard to stay, baby. And that stuck with me from my very first fight. close to my peak and I know it, you know. I'm not even close to being full potential. No one's gonna stop this. I'm sitting in the bar, I dare you to beat me. I dare you. Welcome to the blessed era, baby. This is about strength. Volkanovski used to weigh 211 pounds as a rugby player. He's the strongest fighter to ever be in this weight class. I've got all the tools, I've got all the power, and uh, I'm taking that belt. This could be it. is actually the storyline going in against Max and maybe for the first time ever. I'm the best in the world. I've been telling you. I've been showing you and excited to go in there and prove to people why I'm the GOAT, why I'm the best ever to do this. For the featherweight championship of the world, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger. I'm here with the challenger, ladies and gentlemen. Alexander Volkanovsky, one of the things that you said leading up to this fight was this is a title shot that was earned, not given. That is absolutely 100% true, and you have an opportunity to fight the greatest featherweight of all time tomorrow night. Give us your thoughts. That's exactly right, earned, not given. He's a great champion, and once I take that belt, I plan to do the exact same. So let's get it done. Bless their hands, my time. Good luck to you tomorrow, sir. I'm here with the greatest featherweight of all time, ladies and gentlemen. Max, you've been turning these challenges back. You've been retaining your championship. You have another opportunity to do that tonight. Give us your thoughts on what this means to you. The Bless Express is on the move. Make sure you tune in tomorrow night. Christmas, New Year's came early. You're welcome. Hey, you suck, dude, man! You suck, keep crying! Is that the right fight for you? Can I curse up here? Of course you can. I want to f that guy up. So bad. Woo! Yeah. I'm at the top of the globe. I, I can't be in a room with that guy. I can't. Brazil, you're a dog! All you feel the animals suck! Jerry Party 
you that thinks maybe you should dial it back a little bit? I want people to hate me. You know, I'm the bad guy. I'm, I'm the super villain. I'm Ron America Steel and Twisted Sex Appeal. People can say whatever they want to say about me. I'm not here to care what uh, people's opinions are. I'm here to make the division great again. I'm the people's champ. Donald Trump's favorite fighter. They're a bunch of snowflakes, so if the snowflakes got a problem, you know, that's their problem. That's not mine. At the end of the day, these guys are going to respect me when I keep embarrassing the whole division. Dana, get that belt ready for me! No one's going to stop me. Get out the way! And that is it! This ain't talk. I walk the walk. Holy cow! My God! Total, complete domination. Everybody knows I'm the undisputed, undefeated champion of the welterweight division. I'm bringing this belt to the White House, and I'm putting it on Donald Trump's desk. Marty Fake Newsman, where you at? Where you at? I think Kobe Covington's problem with me is jealousy because he's never achieved what I've achieved. I am an immigrant, and this guy's from Oregon, and he feels entitled that he should be getting all the accolades that I've achieved. And what he's failing to realize is our work ethic are different. Our minds are different. Our hearts are different. And on December 14, I have to go in there, and I have to let them know how different we are. And that is it. I'm the most dominant and most well-rounded Walter Wade on the planet. He's relentless. You get up, he's going to put you back down. Usman's all over him. Looks like a tap there. Kamaru Usman. Anybody in that Walter Wade division that think they want this, you know you don't, because I'm a problem. Kobe, the Nigerian Nightmare is looking for you, and I'm going to fight you. No one gives a about you. Everybody came to see me, so shut your mouth and listen to the chain. Because when I get my hands on him, he will melt. He's going to leave that off to the stretcher. That's one I'm going to enjoy, utilizing him. I can't wait to put my hands on him. And the guy's a joke. He's a clown. His career comes to an end. I'm tired of the talking. I will knock his ass out. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, for all the marbles. Introducing the challenger. Yeah, 
For the longest of times, the whole world has wanted that man's assassination. And tomorrow night, I get to be the guy to drill the, whole, the nails in the coffin. Tune in. The champion, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for coming out to the weigh-ins. We'll see you tomorrow night. Woo. Oh, the pageantry. Face paint sold separately. Our Brian Campbell staying sans face paint. Here are his picks for 245. He likes Usman via a unanimous decision in the headliner in the co-main, Holloway. Also via decision. And when it comes to Nunez, we're looking at a second round knockout.